Mm. And we had this uh, motivational speaker recommended to us, but he needed vision. And we're playing Carlton at Princess Park. And, of course, we're staying in the city. And I said, Kills, we need a – we need a." the guy had vision, mm. right, a videotape. Mm. He said, well, I need a video player and a television that – and um, well, surely there'll be one at the ground. So we get to the ground and there's nothing there. Oh, no. I said, well, we need a TV and it's not going to work. He said, well, how am I going to? I said, well, go back to the hotel and get one. <laughs> so <laughs> there's New Curly. If you know Princess Park, there's, yeah. it's, it's a beautiful parkland. There's uh, there's paths leading up and there's curls <laughs> staggering down the path with this big TV and a, and a, well, yeah. it ain't no plasma either. No, no, it was one of those big ones. But, yeah. But he did. <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 he, he, I'm sure he wanted to be coach. Bob Hammond wanted to be coach. Yes. Was, Bob Hammond thought Max Bashy was approaching him to be the coach, not the chairman. Mm. But I know. But Kills and he was, he, he, you know, he'd been my, been like a father to me, really, and then a big brother. And then he'd been my coach for 10 years. And mm. the most, Significant male figure in my life, really. Mm, so, yeah. so all of a sudden, I'm the coach and he's the footy manager. I know he was frustrated at times, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, he did, he did a great job, and it was it was fun looking back. I just wonder how.